Welcome back everybody once again to the channel Moose Gaming here and we are going to be playing the House of Ashes by the Dark Pictures Anthology and it is going to be once again ruthless. We are going to fail as much as we can not hit QTEs um, unless of course what we need to do will cause somebody to die or fail then of course we'll do it uh, I know there's a couple scenes where we have to shoot at opposing sides uh, we will more than likely do that so let's get into this and hopefully hopefully we can um, get as much diversity in, in, in the storyline as we did in Little Hope all right, so first and foremost, let's turn all of this off. Okay. All right. And yes, save current settings. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, display. We're good there, control. Sorry. Everything should be good. Right. Play alone. I'm gonna start a new game here. New story. And we're gonna go lethal. Gotta be lethal. It's ruthless. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. Hosea 8-7. Every choice has a consequence. Some decisions save lives. Others lead to death. Well, curator choose wisely is not going to be too happy with us because we're looking to get as much death as possible yeah man god 23 31 BC. Oh, you knocked over the heads. No! I don't want to die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Bellato! Forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. No luck. General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. He's got a meshy, a meshy beard. Can you imagine scraping the up against that? God sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistakes? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. 
No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sand. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. <coughs> Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen. Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. <laughs> By, By your command. command. <laughs> no, no, we're not going to press it. We're going to fail it. Uh, we will do that, though. be a pretty sharp uh, sword to get it in one hit go through the the bone and all I just gotta now we gotta cut on our arm. Whatever it takes to get out of there, right? to be a big old battle. Shed. Well, that didn't sound very inviting. Give me strength.
It's like, well, that's weird. Forgiveness, but the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. Oh yeah, because he's dead. Boy King, free of his madness now. As are we all. Free to die. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacomb. I think I should trust you? You have no choice. I told you. Oh yeah, they're coming. You better run your little butts off. Let's not push. Let's make him do all the work. They said you are guardians were strong. Seems this curse has made infants of you all. Mm -mm. No, we're, no. Oh, they and they got the doors open eventually. Look at that. What do you know? Follow me. There is a way out through this tomb. Tomb? Yes. For the builders when they're done. Come. Uh oh. Heartbeats? Nah. We're gonna fail those two. So rat. An Akkadian? Scared of a rodent? I have seen it all now. <laughs> How many men died for our king? Their sacrifice bought him nothing. Uh, I don't want to pick it up, but I guess I will, because it's part of the tutorial. I don't have much of a choice. Right, so we need to find... Uh, it's not that... Something on the wall. I think it was this here, right? Is it this? We are cursed by our own actions. Why did your king create the temple? Was it there? Same story that history has taught us. For gold, for glory, for greed. It may have been that. I remember. 
maybe something here that, uh... No. Okay. Uh, that is... A, a premonition tablet, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we do not want, we don't want that. We don't want to, we want to find as little information as possible. Um, but then again, I don't know, this is the... Tutorial. The prelude. Prelogue. Whatever. Alright, let's just pick this up. Let's see what this... Yeah, I see it's a premonition. I didn't want a premonition. Vision. Uh, uh, that one isn't really gonna make much of a difference for uh, this character. I can't go back out there. There had to be something with this. supposed to be seeing something on there. I'm not seeing it. Not that door. Oh, the door on the other side. Ah, oh, here we go. So we could have just walked over here. Help me with this. <laughs> you first. We're safe down here. You first. Can we argue? What is this that adorns you? Nothing to concern an Arcadian. How do we get out of here alive? Uh, let's say nothing. You do not know? No, I don't know. I don't know anything. What is that? Something that's gonna eat us. Over here. Hello. How are you? Uh, square to run faster? No. No. There's no time. It's on us. I've got it. God forgive us. There's no escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No! If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword. Ah, uh, let's be Trey. Yes. Ooh, just got sliced in the back. Or they sliced each other.
interesting. No, skip, skip, skip. You teeter on the edge. As much as I love that soundtrack. Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation or be lost in the darkness? Oh, lost in the darkness. You can't tell what five candles are. You're about to make some difficult decisions. All five are going to get blown out. Hopefully. Affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear. It's good to see you again. You're probably keen to get started. Let us not dally any longer. As you are aware, I am the curator, the custodian of Tail. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. There is no mistakes. We're telling a story either way. Told stories, stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. Yeah, we're not going to take your help, though. To Thank you. Into the unknown alone is extremely. Or extremely foolish. Both. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures. Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, Sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. Fail. It's definitely going to be fail. Iraq, 2003. So, 20 years ago. Chase a call check, Chris Lieutenant U.S. Air Force. Colonel, good trip. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel King. Not particularly rational. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Uh, is yeah, impatient. Is my briefing room prepped? Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. The new year? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. Oh, Taylor. You are? Careful, Clarice. That's valuable research. Yes, sirree. Dr. Stokes, at your service. First yeah. Cold check. Wow. Keep getting that. Reaper room? Keep getting that red. Red arrow down. Yo, is this much of a dick? Huh. So many dick levels. This is like a two. Wait till he turns it up to eleven. Oh, what do we got going on here? What's up, Marine? Can't you keep up? Rachel King, CIA field officer, commandeering and abrasive. Nick K, Sergeant U.S. Mission Force, recon, defensive and romantic. This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, I, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Mm. 
1990. Rachel King? Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. All right, Rachel. Are you going to tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. Should put us on ice. You should put this on ice. On ice? Just like that? So what, we just, we just stop? Is that how it works? That's exactly how it works. If my husband is here. For crying out loud, Nick, how else do you think it works? From now on, we just, we just have to keep a little distance. Sounds like an order, ma'am. Say no more. I get it. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, we're ruining these relationships 100%. That's the goal here. Ruin relationships. Get as many of them killed as possible. And be as mean as possible. You'll have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Close my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> Chowing down in candy bars while some big poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. Uh. If only you could see the state of this place now. It makes me smile. <laughs> you got the CIA, you got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. Oh. God bless America. Boom your butt. <laughs> I see you, old man. Keep busting out those reps. Uh, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach with there too. Later. We have company. Yeah. Well, maybe Miss here would like to watch me get my sweat on. Huh? You wanna spot me, little lady? Can see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin. He likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. <laughs> Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. So, what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk. You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. And if I'm not mistaken, Lance Corporal, that makes me your commanding officer. <laughs> Shit me, right? Give the colonel full sight access. Sir. If I were you, I wouldn't get too comfortable behind that desk. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. Uh. That's my wife you're talking about. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Nice work, Hotshot. Hehe. <laughs> Relationships getting off to a great start between him and Jason. Sure. I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. 
so, she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. Shut up. I hope the bandwidth can cope with the data. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting. And we don't want to look at anything. Uh, I don't think we have to to get this to advance. Uh, that's exactly what it is. I guess you damn like to get down on the I don't know if we could talk to anybody, maybe. Yeah, if stepped on his foot, it'd be an instant off with her head. <laughs> uh, wouldn't surprise me. Done, Doesn't look done. like we can talk to any of them. As long as you don't step on my foot. Uh, all right, cool. We didn't have to look at anything. Colonel King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, hmm. you clear it with me first. Here again. This is my team now. What are you talking about? I have direct orders from CENTCOM to assume command of your task force. Oh. Are you serious? Have you known me to be any other way? Lieutenant Kolchak, if you'd be so kind. This is from Sock Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. Who the hell are you? This is Dr. Stokes. I've given her full clearance. I bet you have. <laughs> okay. Guess I'll go figure it out for myself. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? The fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there on their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck are we waiting for? I'm ready. That's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah, too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. Ooh. Well, I didn't pull out so fast. Could have been your poppy. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? Keep this small. We keep this thing small. If it goes south, I'll pull the plug and we can bug out. With all due respect, I think that's the wrong call. With all due respect, Lieutenant Kolchak, it's not your decision to make. Hehe. <laughs> this feel right to you? Merwin has a point. If we spin up too many helos, we'll increase our chance of being spotted. 
Any concerns, see me after the briefing. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Clarice, help me set up the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie, look. Good rug down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. I have concerns. Well? This team barely know each other, and you're thinking about sending them 500 clicks into bandit country. It's too soon. They're not even remotely close to being ready. If I'm not mistaken, they're forced recon. It's their job to be ready. We don't have time to rework this. This is what's going to get us home, Rachel. I wish you'd reconsider. No. My decision is final. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Uh... This is our big break. Rage. This is it. Everything I've worked on these past years. It's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. Look, Eric, we'll talk when we have time. But not here. Not like this. You're still wearing your wedding ring. <clears throat> hey! Careful with that. Oh shit, sorry. What you got in that box of tricks anyway? What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? I'm sure. Check all equipment, then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. Hey, he still has his ring, too. <laughs> Wait for the download, speak to the team, inspect the briefing room. Nah, uh, we're. we're uh... I don't know. Do we have to talk to anybody? Oh, well, you know what? We could. So we can ruin relationships. You think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. That almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. Sir, I've heard some fucked up stories about the border. You sure you don't want air support? There's a chance we'll need it. We have the element of surprise on our side. I will not allow anything to jeopardize that. Please, Colonel. Can we take a step back and think about this for a minute? I've made my decision. You feeling lucky, Lance Corporal? Well, my parents owned a horse named Lucky. He ran away. Bet the farm on this. I have a good feeling we're gonna clear up. I wish I shared your optimism, Colonel. Uh, it doesn't exactly ruin a relationship with that guy. 
Can't talk to them. Talk to him. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. Tell me, Corporal, are you afraid of heights? Please. I'm forced recon. I've trained in high altitude, low opening parachute jumps. Hostile conditions that would make most men wake up screaming for their mama. You've been quite the picture. I hope you're more than just mouth, Marine. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so that might have, uh, that might have uh, made him upset a little bit there. Who else can we talk to? Can we talk to you? No? I don't want to examine that. But I think if we examine that, it gets the attention of them. Is this what I think it is? Yeah. WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke. That's all. Uh, disapproving. These are unauthorized. If we break weapons conventions, then we're just as bad as Saddam. I won't allow them on this mission. This is bullshit. We need all the help we can get. Sergeant K, there seems to be some confusion. That was an order, not a talking point. Loud and clear, Colonel. We won't be taking them on the mission. We all cool? Yeah. I am. Oh, weird. Weird. We are trashing all these relationships. That's what we're looking for. Um. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Uh. There's no other way. I don't know if we. Do we have to check everything out? Maybe. That just shows that there. Uh, this was the ladder. There's nothing else on there. Uh, just need to waste time, I guess. So we have to look at a few things. Look at the planning board here. Pick this up, look at it, okay, put it back down. So I said I'm not sure if it's all time gated uh, based on what we look at or if it if it automatically I think we have to look at stuff. Oh there we go. Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. Unless it literally just... We just had to stand around for five minutes. What? But I, what? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think of him? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a hard ass and he wants us to know it. But I ain't bothered by that. I like it actually. The guy's a corn cob off his ass. But we're heading, believe me. We're gonna need someone tough in control. Eh. So even though he's not liking us, he's still happy with us. Interesting. Salim. Salim Otham, Lieutenant Iraqi Ground Forces, stubborn and courageous.
Zayn, and a gate. Zayn, I'm home. Zayn, Zayn. Uh, let's see, we're looking around. Oh, I think we just needed to look at us right here. Is that it? No, that's not it. Uh, don't need to look at that. Go down to his room. Zane? Uh, don't know if we have to look at that or not. No, oh, no, right here, right here. That. Or oh, busy and penny. Yeah, but. Hello, uh, I'm Salim. Salim? Salim Garkun. Abu Zain. Abu Zain. Where are you? Yes, I'm here. Zain is with... With... Is Zain with you? Tariq. Yes, Tariq. They're with each other. They're going to kill me for half an hour. Is everything okay? Angry. No, everything is not لقيت الحاجات اللي سرقها وخباها طارق وزين يا رب مش ده كمان قلت له 100 مرة زين قال لي انه بطل حاجات دي وعدني منين ده البوليس؟ ايه؟ لا مش عايزين الصيع دول معانا في معرفتي انت بس قولي لي هم فين انا 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 مش عارف اول ما يدخلوا من الباب تقولي له زين ابوك عارف انت عملت ايه قولي له ابوك غضبان منك لا 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 يا ديني مش دلوقتي كابتن بصري اهلا انا مناسب لازم اتحرك على طول انت بتقول ايه سعادتك العدو جاي يا سليم العدو جاي علينا دلوقتي العدو يا فندم الحرب خلصت خلاص وخسرنا لا ده كلام فارغ محدش السلم العدو جاي ودي ارضنا واحنا لازم نتعرب ليها شايفينهم مطلوب تاكيد يلا شوف جايين علينا بقول لك احنا محتاجين كل الراجل في مكانه عشان توصل عندنا ديفاينت ما اقدرش اعمل ده يا فندم ابني محتاجني ده امر يا جندي مش طلب تن اوردر سولجر ده واجب عليك فهمت too bad we couldn't deny it right there but if they ended Salim or his boss right there I mean there'd probably be no story to tell on that side then خلاص يا دار دي اخر مهمة Ready to go dark. Zagros Mountains, 1815. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's got a uh, prosthetic leg. Hey, boys, we're coming in fast. Hey, Mama, what's your mama and the Bermuda Triangle having come? Why are you fucking in late? They both swallow Marines. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, boy. Hey, look, your mama's so nasty. I called her for phone sex, now I got a fucking ear infection. <laughs> well, damn. How long you been sitting on that one? Oh, yeah, you like that? I got a shit ton more of those bad boys lined up. 
Yeah, that's what your mama said. Do you two want to cut the bullshit and focus on the mission? Hey, only one place I let a woman boss me around like that, all right? And that's between the sheets. I'm surprised your mom lets women into your bedroom. Don't want her getting jealous now. Yeah, I'm Rachel. <laughs> hey, what the fuck y'all laughing at? Sergeant K, I need you to establish contact with the AWACS CP on four hour intervals. Sergeant K, are you with me? Yeah, I got it. Contact CP every four hours. Hey, whatever's going on in there, compartmentalize that shit. I need you here with me. Can I count on you? I'll ask you one more time. Can I count on you? Yeah, I got you. Lay it out, Nick. What the fuck is up with you? It's nothing. Where I'm sitting looks pretty damn far from nothing. It's fine. I'm fine. Tell me this ain't about that. Get that shit out of your head and move on. I have. You have? You're not the one who pulled the trigger. Marine Sergeant. We pull that trigger together. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Semper Fi? What's that, some kind of Boy Scout thing? It's a Marine thing. It means always loyal. So what, it's supposed to be lucky? Marines have a boatload of superstitions. Hit me with one. All right, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the helo. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. That's gotta be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. It's no wonder you get your ass shot off. We're good to go, Marines. This is what we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness, we're gonna succeed. Amen to that, brother. Hoorah! Hoorah! Hoorah. Yeah, Marines say hoorah, and the army says hoorah. Takes to apply. Target LZ 1846. American, Americans, American soldiers. We've been made. Awaiting orders. Uh, assault a building. Assault the team. Assault the building in front. Copy that. CQC. Move. On me. I think they use zip ties. Pretty sure that's what they use. Cops are just, there's too many, like, a lot of cops. Zip ties are a little bit quicker and easier Clear to use. Room. Clear! All bound is secure. Prisoners are playing ball. Roger. Get Corporal Merwin to pop yellow smoke at the LZ and bring in the Colonel. This 
interest rates are bust. These people are not the enemy, they're just shepherds. Lieutenant Kolchak, sit rep if you will. No shots fired, sir. No casualties. Form secure and we're processing captives. Captives? Have you located an entrance to the underground silo? Negative, sir. If there is one, it's well camouflaged. If there is one, what does that mean, Lieutenant? They're just shepherds. Colonel, I don't think these men are hostile. I'm starting to think they're just shepherds. Are you sure? Could it be a cover? If this is a cover up, we're about to find out. That went smoothly. You think? Got the place locked down tighter than the birds. Do not finish that sentence, Corporal. Are they ready for questioning? Yeah, just don't ask them any tough physics questions. Let's go. Stay sharp. If anyone so much as raises an eyebrow, I want to know about it. Copy that. I don't know about you guys, but something doesn't feel right about this place. Oh, yeah? So is that this, uh, women's intuition I keep hearing about? Yeah, you want to find out what happens when you piss it off? <laughs> Stay still. I'm just gonna pat you down. السلام عليكم يا أخي. لازم أسأل السؤال ولازم تقول الحقيقة. فين مدخل مخزن السلاح؟ Any orders, ma'am? Stand by. I've got this. هسألك مرة ثانية. فين مكان المخزن؟ What the hell is that? Some kind of effigy. Possibly pagan. Ada. They'll find out soon enough. What the fuck? Into can here. Cut myself. Blood in the sand. I've had enough of this. Corporal, keep an eye on the captives. You heard a Marine. Interrogate the shepherds. Search the farm. I can't interrogate them. Can't do anything to them. Tell me where the silo is. This man was armed, ma'am. Everyone in this country is armed. The Bundoya to be a Aoya, Akhtar Melinta Mahtagul El Ganem. Fin Methal El Marzan. Oh, yes. Stand down, Lieutenant. The only language these people understand. I've got this under control. Are there any more captives? Yeah, in the other hut. Follow me. Keep a firm eye on this one. Out of the way. Well, I could talk to him. There's shit here. You got something to say, Sergeant? Look at the ground. What do you Can see? we ruin the Jack relationship shit. even more? There was a silo. Where's all the tracks? Nah, man. This is a fishing expedition. His precious Kalis has got it all wrong. We follow orders, Sergeant. The search is far from over. Aye, sir.
Are you in here? No, there's nobody in here. I'm not worried about it. I'm not looking. I don't want that. We're in here. أنا بشخص الحكومة الأمريكية. أنت في موقف صعب جدا. مهم إنك تقول الحقيقة. He's American. فين مدخل المغزل؟ <laughs> That's heroin. Oh, heroin. It just keeps getting better by the minute. These people are nothing but common crooks. What the fuck was Eric thinking? I want this place turned inside out. I tried to shoot. It wouldn't let me shoot. Go! Fuck! <laughs> that was fucking close. Whoa! What a fucking rush, huh? Rachel! Where are you? Rachel! Oops, I tripped. Oh, I stumbled. <laughs> Oops, I missed. Ooh, almost got shot there, eh? How you just sit Drop still. It. Silence with it. Can someone give me a sit rep on the contact? Over. Drop tank is just kill joint till we are under fire and going down. Targets have advanced into the LT. <sighs> this getting worse? Maybe.
Get down on the floor, I swear I'll put a fucking hole through you. Ruthless. Well, this is actually where we are going to end this episode of House of Ashes. I hope you all enjoyed what's going on so far. We've got one person dead. Actually, I think he dies no matter what. He's not one of the five. So, when we come back next time, we might actually see somebody leave the show. But if you like it, please hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Until next time, everybody. Have a great day, wonderful afternoon, and a peaceful evening. We shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.